Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year to you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to dial in a Dumble steel string singer type of uh, clean tone in your fractal unit. But before that happens, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps it to grow. Uh, hit that little like button and the notification bell. Let's you know when all my videos come out. And in the comment section, let me know if this uh, tutorial worked for you. Also, if you have any other tone ideas uh, that you want to see coming from this channel, just let me know in the comments below. So as we know, in the Fractal Universe, there's no such thing as a Dumble Steel String Singer, at least not yet. Now that maybe John Mayer is a part of the Fractal family, maybe they might let he might let Cliff uh, borrow his Dumble Steel String Singer and model it for us, maybe someday. But we're going to kind of do a little workaround, and this is all based on uh, Fractal content creator Austin Buddy's uh, kind of workaround for this. So we're just going to start with a quick build. Now what we know about the Dumble Steel String Singer is it's very clean, high headroom amp, and it's kind of based on the power section of an Ampeg uh, bass amp. And then you have the preamp tone stack of a Dumble, which is the, I believe it's called the Skyliner. All right, so here's our, basics, our basic signal chain that we're going for. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn some of this stuff off first. So you can kind of see along the way how I dial things in. Now this is a pretty in-depth kind of uh, tweaking tone, sec uh, tone session. So let's go straight to the amp block. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to the SV base one. That's the, the Ampeg base amp. And let's just go to the ideal tab. And these are some of the uh, settings that I use. So we'll just kind of quickly populate it and you can follow along with me. And we dial the bass back a little bit, bump up the mids. Now kind of what I'm going for is kind of a mix of a, a Stevie Ray Vaughan and John Mayer type of steel string sound. Now. Obviously, I've never played a Dumble Steel String Singer. I've only played uh, clones of it. And what I know is they're very unforgiving amps. Any uh, type of mistake you make, it's going to be amplified a lot. So who knows uh, how close this really is, but kind of going based on uh, some recordings from obviously like John Mayer type of... Uh, songs. So hopefully we're following along. We uh, took a little bass off because it can get really thumpy. And we're going to do a lot of uh, low cuts, especially in the cab section. Bumped up the mids and the treble a little bit. And then uh, right here for the level, you are going to want to play around with this because it is going to clip quite a bit. So we're just going to start right around here. 13, a negative 13.2 dB. And we're going to turn on the bright switch. And then uh, right here, I don't remember if this was Austin Buddy's uh, preference for the bright cap, but it was at 139.9. Then moving on to the preamp. This is kind of one of the most important parts. Go to the tone stack and then go to Skyline. And then for the tone stack, we want it in uh, the mid position. Then moving on to the power amp, I believe everything there is kept the same, so you can leave that alone. And then the same thing here with uh, the power tubes. Nothing here in the power supply, nothing in the speaker. So let's go to the output EQ. And that's where we want to change things a little bit. Just 
So right here, we're going to change it to a five band passive EQ. And then we're going to bump the lows up to 1.5. Same thing with the low mids. Now these are based on Austin Buddy's settings right here. And feel free to kind of tweak to your guitar, to your pickups. And then this is something I like to do. I like to add some gain enhancer. So we'll bump it up to like 0.75 because this is going to be very, very uh, clean. So we want to um, just give it a tiny bit of grip. All right, moving on to the cabs. We're going to go to some of my favorites, the Legacy number 106, which is based on kind of a Dumble style 4x12 with EVs. And then we're going to go to the Factory 127, which is the 2x12 2 Rock. And since this is one of those presets where you're not going to have a lot going on, you can go ahead and bump it up to ultra res if you want. Then I did add a little bit of proximity, so bumped it up to three. And for the preamp, I added a little bit of low cut, so you don't really need anything in the 90 hertz, so you can keep it right about there. Then for the room level, I always like to have a little bit in there just to give it some ambience. And that's about it for the amp and cab section. Let's just go ahead and hear what we got so far. So nothing too special so far, but this is kind of where the magic happens. And again, this is all per Austin Buddy and his uh, settings on the Fractal Forum, but I did make some adjustments along the way. So the compressor goes after the cab block, and we use the Studio FF compressor, and I had it on my first video. It was around negative 33.9 dB on the threshold. And then I brought the mix back to around 36-ish, and then you have to make up the level a little bit. And then moving on to chorus. Now, uh, something I noticed about listening to like guys like Steve Ray Vaughan, John Mayer, the, the clean that you get from the double string, string singer are very three-dimensional. So that's why we're adding a little chorus so it's going to be the Dimension 1 Chorus. And all I did was just dial the mix back to where it's barely even audible. So maybe around like 10 or 11 percent. And that's it. And let's go ahead and play just a little bit so you can hear what that does. Then with it off. And on. So you can hear it adds a little something to it. And then for the reverb, I just like to use my uh, my kind of go-to, which is the South Church. And then we're going to bring the time down just a little bit. So right around two-ish. And then maybe bring the mix back a little bit. And let's hear how that sounds. All right, so it's pretty close. Um, I just like to add a little bit of drive 
So that's going to be kind of the last thing that we add. And if you want to go back and watch my video on stacking overdrives to get kind of a John Mayer lead tone, I'm going to add a little card at the top corner for you. But we're going to use my kind of faux clone type of setting here. And I'm actually going to give a little bit more drive than I no would normally have. A little bit more here. Now we're going to hear how this sounds with a little bit of drive. <laughs> So that's got a lot of a um, lot of level, and you can probably hear that's clipping. So we have to go back and turn the level down, maybe to around negative 18 dB. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> All right, so right there it gets uh, gets a little bit more bite with that drive. I think it's more indicative of kind of a Stevie type of sound, but going back to kind of the John Mayer thing, I think this could be a, a nice edge of breakup type sound too. All right, well, that's about it. Um, give it a try with your setup, your guitar. Uh, I'm using my Michael SX Custom with Lawler Blondes in it for the whole video. Uh, but let me know in the comments below how this worked for you. And um, we'll try and do some more uh, kind of tone tutorials uh, in a little bit, maybe branch out from kind of the John Mayer bluesy type of scene for a little bit. But uh, enjoy and uh, good luck dialing this one in.